minute. Thank you. As we mentioned, your furnace is probably going to kick in tonight, and there are some things you want to do every time uh, this year, uh, this time of the year, to make sure that you're ready for the cold months ahead. And this is just the beginning, folks. News 8's Jackie Slater is live at News 8 Control with how to get your furnace ready. Jackie. And you might have a newer furnace. You might have one of those old dinosaurs. Either way, experts say routine maintenance is key to keeping them running as efficiently as possible. But if you go to turn it on tonight and nothing happens, here's what you can do to try to get it running until the experts get there. A frost advisory has many people thinking this isn't too far off. As temperatures drop and people turn on the heat for the first time, heating experts say calls for help are coming in. I just had one today, an uh, old time customer. Uh, she's bedridden and she called up. She couldn't wait. So I left the office. I went out on a service call and sure enough, it was the batteries that need to be replaced in the thermostat. Gary Jordan is the service manager at Tracy Energy Services. He says there are several things homeowners can do to get cold weather ready. If you go to turn the heat on and nothing happens, here's his troubleshooting tips. So we want to push this reset button one time and let it go. You can push the reset to get your heat, but then you can also uh, call your service company so they can come out. Still not working, Jordan says check emergency switches. Make sure they are in the on position. And check your thermostats. Make sure they're turned on and have working batteries. Customers don't realize there's a signal on a the thermostat and it'll read low battery. And so that right there can produce a service call. That's, you know, something that a homeowner can take care of. And make sure the air filter is clean and functional. That cuts down on dust circulation and helps ensure better breathing quality in your home. It's easier for a homeowner to be able to detect whether or not it's, uh, it needs to be replaced or not. It should be transparent on both sides. And we should be able to see through the air filter. Lastly, he says don't put off routine maintenance and a yearly tune-up. Systems without it are 70% more likely to need a complete system replacement. A little money spent on maintenance will hurt a lot less than big bucks for a complete new system. And the experts say a typical major repair costs between $300 to $1,000. New systems, however, can run upwards of $6,000. So better safe than sorry. Live in News 8 Control, Jackie Slater, News 8.